gifts and benefits over the 2005 season and ruled him ineligible. The move by Reggie Bush today forfeiting his Heisman Trophy essentially is the end of a four-year saga involving Bush and USC football. Reggie Bush was and still is the only player to ever forfeit his Heisman. Should Reggie Bush have given back his Heisman Trophy? Hell no. Hell no. Why should he give it back? He earned it. Reggie Bush dominated college football. He dominated the conversation in college football. He was electrifying. He was exciting. He was part of a great team. He happens to be in the backfield with another Heisman Trophy winner. Well, going to try to sneak it ahead. Touchdown, SC! Touchdown, SC! Touchdown, SC! Touchdown, SC! Touchdown, OJ, in the late 1960s, he earned the Heisman Trophy. Later on, of course, OJ would come to be infamous for other things, but you can't erase history. You shouldn't rewrite it. So anytime they try to for someone to relinquish something that they've already earned, it doesn't erase it in the minds of the people who saw this transpire. Ken Newton is this year's Heisman Trophy winner. He was given the honor, despite accusation, that Newton's father tried to solicit cash from another college to get his son to play for them. When Ken Newton won, there was a great deal of scrutiny whether he or his family or someone had been paid. And I'm not comfortable saying which high.